Hi guys. Here we go again. Let's reset the score from yesterday and let's start with Amazon by Kyuzu. Make sure you grab the coffee, tea or water, whatever, and enjoy. So I'm already curious what our first opponent is going to play. There. Then as Mark should be a good god power for sure. Hmm. We are going stack. Plays zombie mid range. Going second, I like the underbrush for. Uh, Sanctum Guardian could be good too. Brazilian Warrior, maybe, but uh, I'm not sure about it. Nightly Foria could be. Nightly Hunter could be better. Mm. But. Could also go for. Relic Removal. Ah, I don't know. I really could need a Relic Removal. But I think with the last mulligan, the, the danger is too big, chance is too big to get just the big card you cannot play anywhere soon, like 4 or 5 mana. The calm before the storm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we just start with the two Amazons. Maybe if at least one is surviving, I think the hidden one is going to survive. We can maybe make some nice strides with Canopy Sniper. Ah, Cross of Creed. Let's see. And then might be the Underbrush Boar the better option. Finish that little guy. This is not the way. Nah, cool. My turn. But at least we can take out that zombie really snap sniper. It plays. Give this one a little more life. That's enough. And hopefully next turn we will have enough labor to get the relic removal. Hmm. Ah, blight bomb. I should have buffed the canopy sniper, I guess. Play the Bramble Guy. Right. Then we are going to hit the base and we are playing from server. Let's try to hit this guy, it's not hit. Gun. Then we want it. I'm just glad we could destroy the Necro Scepter. But now the next problem is going to be to take this Cursed Obelisk down. Not going to be. Awaken. 
Hmm, Lotus Dora is nice though. Sure, yeah. He can do good right? Maybe I should have played it differently. Yes, it's GG, huh? I guess two more games and then we are back in mythic but mm, we cannot lose one game if we lose just one game we are going back behind the shielded area well but if we are lucky or maybe we have a good matchup or we just play good have a little luck we can make it we can definitely make it Make my life good. Mm -hmm. Playing nature. Hopefully not control me. Wild agro nature. And we are going second. Ah, this could be interesting. But I think in general he's slightly in favor. Uh, 
I think big stuff is not going to be good. Means I'm also not If we could play the Canopy Sniper successfully, we might have a good chance. The calm before the storm. Let's start with the box bomb trail marker and sanctum body. Let's hope that two creatures are going to survive. Hmm. the canopy sniper and the amazon conscript hit that one and hit that one nice Oh, that was unlucky. Poor guy. gonna rush him down with no mercy. Hey, Wangelov! Welcome back! Cheers, and nice to see you! Mm -hmm. GG. Oh, good start today, good start. We are back in Mythic. Awesome. Okay, nearly 600 fragments. Right. Juman01, hi, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, in this case it was definitely too fast. Have you been that uh, wild um, nature player? Sounds a little bit like. Right now it's taking quite long in the queue. 
Maybe I just... I just quit the queue and try it again. If you want, I can post that uh, Amazon deck. But yeah, it's a little bit expensive, I guess. Because, mainly because of the Blades of Fight playing. At the moment, $340. But otherwise, yeah, the rest of the cards are all right. It's just the Blade of Fight plane and maybe yeah, the Underbrush Boar is a little bit expensive. And also, yeah, Myrtle's Daughter and Divya. But the rest is all right. So we are playing against War. So we are going to choose Selena's Mark for sure. Primal Guidance is really good against War. When going second. But the Canopy Sniper, I'm not sure. I guess it's not good. Underbrush board is way better. Nightleaf Hunter mm, could be good. I guess I keep it. Brace yourself. It's okay against Agro War. It's not really awesome, but it depends. If he's starting slowly like this, I assume he's not having a good hand, then we have a good spot. And especially when we go second and we have Primal Guidance and Underbrush Boar, we have quite a good chance. I think in general... Um, I think we win slightly more than the half of the games against Agro War. So it's not really a good counter, but also not terrible. I think this match will be okay. He's really slow. And I'm at the moment, I'm not quite sure if I should play the Warrior of Paradise with the Pip. Or I just play the trail marker but waste mana. But he's already pretty much behind. Ah, I, I just play him and he was. Hmm, no, he's not control. He had just a bad hand, I guess, like maybe Cunning Challenger, White for Guard, Sledmaster Valka. Um, I'm using the Virginia app to take a quick look at my opponent's deck. Oh, our score is starting off really good today. But yeah, I, I think in this uh, round we were just lucky. We just got bad hand, I guess. Usually the fights against war are much tougher. Good morning, Daka! Welcome back! Death. Hmm. Yeah, also it depends very, very much on what kind of death he's playing. This is the fourth game today, we are going second. And strangely, we have uh, won all the games. Zombie midrange, Geo Dex has. Okay, but he's playing Eva the Baroness. Eva the Baroness is a card that is really, really harming us. Thank you, Daka! I'm glad to see you too. 
And I hope you are going to have awesome dailies. I guess the river jumper captain might not be that good. Two underbrush boa primal guidance, I keep it. Maybe it's too much. Maybe we should have mulliganed one boar for an Amazon. But I don't know. Could also be that we get five mana creature. Hopefully he's not going to kill it with a light bomb. Then this would be wasted. But to play nothing at all is still not good. So oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, just the blight bomb on my poor boar. He's still doing nothing. So then, I'd leave Boria and Leon. We have to be careful. He is playing bifurcating curse twice and overseer of fatality. If we come to the late bot mana. We have to rush him down, I guess. When he's at six mana or even seven mana, I think our chance will be very slim to still win. Ah, Perseverance. Usually I feel safe when I have a warded creature, but since we have that Perseverance, even my warded creatures are not safe. Yeah. Awaken. Canopy Sniper. Awesome. Let's get the rune of fire just to fade. Maybe I should have attacked the zombie with the nightly warrior. To clear his board completely. I'm not sure. Yeah. Because of stuff like that and swarm though. It's been better. So Let's kill the zombie first. And then we are going to kill the Nether Swarm Lord. Primal Guidance. Hit his face and play the Enraged Ally. Laser, yo, good morning. Nice to see you. Oh no, bifurcating curse. At least one creature is surviving. I shouldn't have played the enraged ally, I should have made it differently. Fuck. I had no eye on. on. Um, which cards are odd and even that was a big mistake that might cost us the game. Oh, shit. You can even even finish him off. Not going to use the blood ritual I guess. No! Oh shit, yeah. We are going to die. He's even getting the form of power. Let's kill 
Uh, the primal guidance in one of these is kind of wasted, I guess. You got way too many cards. And next turn he's at 7 mana. Yeah, I think we should have been more careful. Uh, it's not really, not really OP, but it's very strong, I think. We should have been more careful with the bifurcating curse. Then I think we could have won. But like this, it ah, not good. Finish one off with Lena's mark and play the brood. Psycho. I've done all that I can. And let's get rid of the Nether Swarm Lord. And I think the Battle of Hoss will help us maybe a little. Yeah, the thing is. Yeah, I, I think they nerfed it already. Before you could you could hit face with it too. This is not the way. Now it's just to hit uh creatures. Yeah, and he plays good seven mana stuff like Hortak. While we just have Top end at 5 mana, so there's nothing we can do, I'm afraid. GG. Awaken. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's too much. Maybe they should do it for 3 mana and just 2 zombies. I don't know, I, I'm no balance guy. But yeah, it's it's really powerful, especially when you take um, in consideration that um, that Vault is usually protecting you against spells. But in this particular case, the spell is even taking down your warded creatures. Oh, and again that. So, Svenna's Mark, I think. But what kind of death are you? Zombie control, okay. Zombie control sounds not good. Yeah, he's even playing... Light Bomb, Curse of Greed, and Return to Cave. This will be a massacre. We are going to keep the Swordbreaker Sage for sure for his Necro Scepters. I think we don't really need two Underbrush Boars. Good luck. We need Good luck. a one drop to be fast, but our hand is a bitch. Oh god, our hand is really bad. But good that we kept our spot breaker sage. of greed, okay. I was expecting to kill that one using the god power. So if he uses the summon the Pharaoh's heirloom, 
He's letting us draw. So maybe he has, yeah, if we are lucky, he has no Blight Bomb to finish off our blade. So, yeah, we are lucky, we can draw. Okay, then we are going to try to maximize the damage here. Oh, we should have... Ah, uh, that was done. We should have attacked with this guy before we summon that one. That was just embarrassing. Hmm. Now the buff is wasted. Oh, he has a second Necro Scepter. So this time we have to take care of Bifurcating Curse. This is not the way. So these two odd creatures, one even creature. So we need more even creatures. The Canopy Sniper is even and the Rust Mega Sage we need to finish off this thing. Give that guy some... Uh, and again, I should have attacked with that guy before. I'm just playing not good at the moment. Repeat the same mistake twice. Ah, oh, Neferu, holy crap. I didn't expect that. Shit. At least he's not getting her back to hand, but next turn he's at 7 mana, and I think then we are going to have a problem. So, Fate Hornblade, Canopy Sniper, kill this zombie, the Canopy Sniper is killing the next zombie, and then we kill the zombie with Sedanus. I wish we could have still played River Jump again. He would be 5 4. Oh, now he has Bifurcating first. I'm wondering. I think he's good to choose even. Yeah. And return to play. So let's start with Trail Marker. And then River Jump So these are all what? So we take even one from here. I think still he's going to win. Looks like it's going to kill, I guess, my enraged ally with his god power. Ah, and her 
So he even has enough favor to get the form of power. Keeping us good under control. Pretty strong. I guess he just needs to draw one of his big removals like Apocalypse Now or Ember Oni. And then we are just going to die. Yeah, Blood Little Girl on Amazon. That makes sense. Hmm. Lightning strike is not going to be helpful. At least not at the moment. I'm afraid that's GG. Oblivion is merely a second deck of cards. Yeah. He got too many cards. We cannot come back from this. Damn. These uh, zombie matchups are really a problem. At least the controlish ones. But I think it's. That's for most of the decks the case. That these zombies are up to. So, but what is our next opponent going to play? Hmm, Deception. I haven't played against Deception for quite a while. I hope it's in Rush, but can I take a look at his board? I think it's going to be Control. Yeah, Control Deception. Nice. This is also not going to be easy, but it's also not totally impossible. I like my starting hand. We are going second again. Fingers crossed. Best of luck. Hi. He's starting with nothing. No. But we start with two Amazons. 
that's always a good start. Just playing one Umber Arrow and one Blade Borrower. Hmm, but the makeshift chip is also not bad. Marcella. Awaken. So Let's try the Primal Guidance first. Alright, then we buff this guy to kill her. And then we use our pip to get rid of the last broke skull card. His face. Mm hmm. Alright. Um, what exactly do you think you're doing? out my big guy. Oh, Umber Arrow. Ouch, this hurts. Umber Arrow is so bad. Underbrush for... So let's play Fate Horn Blade. Hit the face. Next turn he cannot be at 6 mana yet. So if I play the Underbrush Boar, he might finish off one of the Rogue Skalakas. He's going then down to 15. Next turn we could do. 6 damage and it's going down to 9. So, but then one turn later he could use then Rapture Dance. Ah, uh, no. I don't play the Underbrush. I play Bow of Champions to draw a card. I've done all that I can. Okay. Hate getting my hands dirty. Cutthroat inside. Damn it. So I guess it wasn't worth to draw a card, huh? Would have been better than I play. I've played the underbrush boar and left the stuff in the sanctum. I have a Yeah, empty hand. Now he has to do everything to kill Phaeton Blade. Otherwise it's pretty dangerous with Divya. He doesn't know what card we are holding, although he does know because of Cutthroat. But we could top deck another Amazon for three more Phaeton Blade damage. Oh, he needs to kill somehow Divya already. But I think that is going to be harder. But not impossible. Okay. But taking 4 damage. Looks not too bad. So we can kill this one easily. 
can hit his face. Otherwise, we cannot do much. I guess we have no choice than playing the underbrush boar. Sadly, she's going to die without doing any more damage. We are both at 14 in favor. It's going to be close, I guess. Lip. So, no Rapture Dance. Even if he had Rapture Dance, the Underbrush Boar would just survive. Contract Broker. Oh, and he's even hitting the right sky. Damn it. Ooh. Yes. That's We should have played it differently, I guess, huh? Shit. Now we can even get the Rune of Fire. He has Leech. Uh, I think we are damned. Even though the Blade of White Plane is good. Shit. I think he just turned it around. Oh, and Demogorgon. Holy crap, GG. Uh, if we would have been a little bit faster, it would have been a victory. Damn it. So let's focus on the next game. Deception again. Oh, and he has also a fancy board, so could be control. We are going second again. Oh, he's playing Hidden Rush, so it's pretty much in our favor. Underbrush Boar and Primal Guidance are the essential cards for that matchup. Box one trail marker, I'm not sure. But I think it could get worse, so I keep. Yeah, usually with underbrush boar and primal guidance against hidden Watch rush, it should back. be good. Good luck. Hmm. Yeah, here we can just start with Bark Swarm Trail Marker and use the Primal Guidance to kill off his Armor Lurker. This is just so strong, killing a 2 mana card on first turn with a 1 mana card. We took over the board. So hmm. the 
Pyramid Warden dies, we are going to get the trail marker back, hopefully. Could also kill the recruit, so the chance is then 50-50 to get the recruit or the trail marker. But I would prefer the trail marker for sure. Next turn. Could try to get... Answer the call. Hmm. Could try to get the underbrush boar back. It wasn't putting correct. But next turn we can play Myrtle's daughter. This will be good. Yeah. I guess this will be good. Oh, he's hiding the Pyramid Warden. Strong. Could also play a Primal Guidance, but it might just hit the Petro Mary Bandit. I guess I prefer just to play Murtle's Daughter to go for some serious damage. Hmm. Next turn we can still play Selena's Mark and Primal Guidance. I think he cannot fight all these guys again, so I guess we're going to make some nice trades. Stone skin poison on my big guy, ouch. And he's getting the rune of fire. Not bad, definitely not bad, but the canopy sniper is an awesome top deck. Walker's discovery. If we are unlucky, Pyramid Warden is just going to give us the Amazon Recruit. If we are lucky, we maybe get the Canopy Sniper or the Underbrush Boar back. Discovery. Yeah, damn it. But we can clear the board. Kitty. Hm. Yeah, let's just finish his creatures. I hope I didn't waste my lightning strike here. 
but I'm afraid I did. Would have been better to have the lightning strike for like his bigger creatures like Shade, Shade Walker or Merrick. Yeah. And now we did it like this. Oh yeah, nice. Crawler. Holy crap, it's getting close. Ooh -hoo. Come on, hurry. Cannot do anything, so... What are you thinking of? <laughs> yeah, Guardian Angel, definitely. And here we top decked just what we need. GG. What a close game. Insane. Welcome back, Guardian Angel. Yeah, yeah, with Archer we could we could kill both for sure, yeah. But we already top decked our win. I think I would have <laughs> rolled high to to draw additional damage with that um, bind up roller. He called like that. This mechanic guy that lets each player draw a card. Mm, I guess we are going to do Selena's mark here against war. But let's take a look first what kind of war he's. Agro war. All right, Selena Smark. It's also playing Lethal Prowler. I think we don't need the River Jumper Captain in the beginning. Warrior of Paradise is too big. Myrtle's Daughter is too. Big. The Fight Plane is too big too. I don't really like the Bark Swan Protector too against Agro War, because they can finish them off too easily with the Woodcutter in. Okay. Let's start with the Night Leap Warrior. Master Tactician is quite good. Ooh, and this guy too. They are so sticky. I think here we are going to have a hard matchup with these cards. Not easy to kill. Enough creatures here. Hmm. Looks not good. That's 
enough for now. Hmm. Oh, we can even kill him without losing a creature. And the Thunder Caller, okay. This looks like we are pretty much done. got a way bigger presence on the board. He got more cards than we have. He got way more favor. Hmm, yeah. I guess we are dead. It doesn't make sense to game on here so let's focus on the next Ooh, he's having no name. Five hundred nine is the player number, so this is one of the really early birds. Player number five hundred nine playing that. Ooh. He's playing zombie. We definitely need to keep this bot like a sage. Board vibe there. Ah, but he's playing Necro Scepter twice too, so I guess we keep the Sword Breaker Sage. Yeah, this... The calm before the storm. Let's start with the Nightly Warrior. Let's go. My turn. So... Oh, yeah. Against Bot Vibe Death. Druid of the Cycle is our friend. So we can banish his Siren of the Grave. Here we go with Necroceptor, alright. We can definitely deal with that. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I should have just hit his face. But then he could do better trades. I really don't know. And Blight Bomb. Not... I need my druid of the cycle later on, but it would fit now in the curve. I don't know. I shouldn't have used the pip maybe last turn, so we could have used now Myrtle's daughter. Mm, maybe this was a minor mistake. Enopy Sniper, Selena's Mark, and Form of Power to clear the board. Uh. 
get a whole lot of favor. I am not kind in death to those who oppose me in life. Next turn he can have bifurcating curse. Oh no, another perseverance. Shit. Bifurcating curse. The underbrush boar is even. The conscript is odd. Awaken. Odd and even. Chili, hi! Nice to see you. I'm not sure. Is it time to hibernate already? Zero X, welcome back. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Don't have much even stuff. Ah, now I got to hurry. Alright. Otis, hi! Good day, Ola. Hi there. Oh, Siren of the Grave. Oh, I was waiting for that. Flashbind. Return to cave he banished. Okay. So, Druid of the Cycle, do your thing. Where is it here? Let's get rid of that siren. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we cannot kill this one now. We just have to pass. Oblivion is merely a second deck of cards. Ooh, morning meetings marathon. This sounds kind of exhausting. I'm glad you did it. Jason. Next turn he can play Eclipse now, or he can sleep all our creatures again. Holy crap. Shit. Jesus. Definitely need to banish Siren again. Still, all our creatures are sleeping and we got way too many cards in our hand and we cannot play anything. We can just kill Jason, which doesn't really matter, I guess. Hmm. Shit. Now we are going to obliterate four cards now. Maybe one or two later. Trail marker. Warrior of Paradise. Primal Guidance. And Sanctum Guardian. Ouch. Yikes. When we draw next turn we obliterate one more. And if he can kill her. Oh, he lets us draw even more. 
borrowing Scarab. A meeting juggernaut. Ooh. Sounds good, Zero X. Sounds good. Another sulfuric rank. Holy crap. He's really killing us by milling our cards. Injured Sprout, Mighty Hunter, to get our hand clean. I'm afraid we cannot kill that Demogorgon without letting him heal. can finish that one without getting it back to his hand. Oh yeah, box one protective would be good. But I'm afraid this apocalypse now is going to finish my or even my protected cards. Draw, draw it. Card after life, shuffle this creature into your deck. So that's this card. Hit the Demogorgon with that one. And fire. Still got one apocalypse now. My patience wears. I think yeah, we are just lost here. Bifurcating curse.
GG. We tried. I think... Oh no, we are back in diamond again. Holy shit. So, one more for today. Deception. Hmm. But what kind of deception is it this time? Hmm. Guess we don't need the Sanctum Guardian here. Lotus Daughter is too big. Druid of the Cycle is too big. We bust an underbrush for. The calm before the storm. Hmm. Idly Foria twice is also all right. Let's kickstart with these two. Oh, he's playing Control Deception. I didn't expect Control Deception when I see that God Power. Hmm. I don't know. That's not going to be easy, I guess. <clears throat> oh no, Umber Arrow. Okay, I think this looks like already game over. Shit. So, what is he thinking about so long? Make shift shift, okay. like to play the canopy sniper useless like that but not to play anything is also no solution here this is not the way oh whew. that's good nice target for our blade would be really helpful Oh, and we got a nice card back here. A nice draw. Maybe we are back in the game. Ah, a blade for a blade. Eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Okay. 
so and of sniper then we get the rune of strength on our warded guy we hit the base Zelena's mark to finish her and box one thing Could play Rapture Dance, but it wouldn't be much of a help. So he's just popping my four. Maybe killing my box one protector. Huh? Also playing hunting trap, own skin poise. Awaken. Hmm. It's our turn again. Ah, so let's go for maximizing the damage. Even if he plays Rapture Dance now, we have the Amazon Recruit and the Bark Spawn Protector left. Hunting Trap. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Barker's Discovery, okay. Good morning, Psycho! Nice to see you. Uh oh. Thank you, thank you. Somehow you just join the stream always lately when we are just going to finish. Wondering if he has Rapture Dance or not. Maybe it's a mistake to play the Shield Maiden. Uh oh. Demogorgon. Even worse. Shit. Damn it, I guess we are finished again, huh? I don't know. It's so sad, we were just back in Mythic for like... I think five or six matches and then we just went straight back to diamond. At least it looks like the blade is letting us draw one more, if we are lucky. Hmm. 
Well, maybe not. Lowering the attack points of the blade to one, yeah. Candy chain. Still, I'm afraid he's going to kill us. Oh yeah, Hawtuck. GG. There's nothing we can do about it. Ah, oh, I'm not satisfied today with the score, I must admit. 4-6. Definitely not satisfied today, and we just wait straight back to Diamond. But yeah, hopefully, tomorrow it's going to be better again. GG, Guardian Angel, GG. Thank you. So, guys, I'm going to end the stream. I hope you are going to have some nice games. I wish you good luck with your games and have a nice day. Or maybe night, if it's already late. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I wish it would be turned around, like, 6-4. But, yeah, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Th thank you, thank you, Zero X. So, let's take a look who we can raid. Maybe, maybe. What he got some paint. Uh, yeah, six four should be what we are going to. Uh, Octi Uflux. I've never heard about Octi, so let's take a look what he's going to do. <laughs> ten ten would be nice, yeah. So, goodbye, see you soon, and have a great day. Make Gods Unchained great again. <laughs>